Probability tree diagrams two different independent events. You will find this on page 641 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at an example. Two different independent events. Kavari enjoys flying his kite. On any given day, the probability that there is a good wind is three quarters. So this is the first event. Good wind, not good wind. If there's a good wind, the probability that the kite will fly is five over eight. So the second event, the kite will fly. So first event, good wind. Second event, the kite will fly. Now, copy the given tree diagram on your diagram, write the probability for each branch. Okay, so after I copy it, let's first go through this again and let's first fill in these three values. Okay, I read for you. So, on any given day, the probability that there is a good wind is three quarters. So, the good wind is three quarters. Okay. If there is a good wind, the probability that the kite will fly, so good wind, kite flies, and then you fill in 5 over 8. Okay. If there is not a good wind, the probability that the kite will fly, so not good wind, kite will fly, and that's 1 over 60. Now, can you remember that this pair must add up to 1. So if I want to find this one, I'm basically just going to say 1 minus 3 quarters. You can do it without writing it down. Make the denominator 4 over 4 minus the 3 quarters and that will be 1 over 4. So that will be 1 over 4. Okay, and then the next one, so the same here, so if this must pair must add up to 1. So if I say 8 over 8 minus 5 over 8, it's going to be that 3 over 8. The same here, 16 over 16 minus 1 over 16 is going to give me 15 over 16. Okay, now let's start. Uh, what is the probability of a good wind and the kite flying? Now let's just find that branch. So good wind, kite flies. Can you remember in the branches? What do I do in the branches? I'm going to multiply. So I'm going to just take this 3 over 4 and I multiply it with the 5 over 8 and I will get 15 over 32. Okay, the next one. Find the probability that whatever the wind, the kite does not fly. Now what branch will that be? So let's check. The kite does not fly. It's there and there. But remember you have to take it back to the origin. So take it back to the origin. So what do I do? I multiply in the branches and I add over the branches. So first multiply, multiply, and then add up the results. So if I'm going to say 3 over 4 multiply 3 over 8 plus 1 over 4 multiply 15 over 16 and use your ABC it's really going to be easy if you do it with this. So press 3 that ABC key over 4 multiply 3 ABC 8 uh, you can bring in the brackets plus and then you can just find your final answer. Okay the next one, if the kite flies, let's just get another color. Okay. If the kite flies, let's just read, if the kite flies, the probability that it sticks in a tree is a half. So basically what they do is they bring in that extra probability. So calculate the probability that whatever the wind, the kite sticks in a tree. Now remember, you have to first if the kite flies. That, that's very important. So where is the kite flying? Now the kite was flying there at the yellow but the kite is also flying there. But we already worked out the blue ones. Can you see that? Now can you remember that I said that 
if you take and you multiply in all the branches and you add all of the results, you will always get one. So basically, if I want to find the yellow, I can basically just say one and subtract where the kite is not flying. And where is the kite not flying? It's not flying there. So if I subtract that from one, I will get the places where the kite will fly. Or, that's one way, or you can basically just go and work out the yellow. So you already have this one, this yellow, 15 over 32 plus, and in brackets, you can just multiply one quarter, multiply one over 16, and add it with that result, and you will also get 31 over 64. Okay. So now, as soon as they bring in an extra probability, like, like they did there, then you just take that answer. Can you see? And I just multiply, remember, multiplied with the extra probability of a half. And that will give me then the answer. Let's just clean this. That will give me, so if I take that one, multiply it with a half, and that will be the probability of the kite is flying and it sticks in a tree. That will be the probability. Okay. I want you to do try now 12, number 2. Where will that be? This one. You can stop the video and do try now 12, number 2. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start reading. Claudia goes to school by bus. The probability that the bus is late is 0, 0,1. So can you see the first event? The bus is late, the bus is not late. So this is the first event. If the bus is late, the probability that Claudia is late for school, there comes the second event. Claudia is late for school, Claudia is not late for school. Claudia is late for school, Claudia is not late for school. So if the bus is not light, the probability that Claudia is light is 0 0.05. So they gave you again a few. But let's first copy and complete the tree diagram. So let's start with number A. We first just going to, um, I'm just going to use another color. That's my first. The bus is light or the bus is not light. Then my second event, Claudia is light or not. But repeat it here. Claudia is light or she's not light. Okay, let's just write it in. So in this case, it will be bus light. And this will be bus not light. And this will be Claudia. Let's just get that correct. Claudia light or Claudia not light. And I repeat here, Claudia light, whatever I write there, I just repeat here for this outcome. So Claudia is light or Claudia is not light. And now I, fill, I start filling in whatever they give me. Claudia goes to school. The probability that the bus is light is 0, 0,1. So the bus light, 0, 0,1. Remember this pair must add up to 1. So if I say 1 minus 0, 0,1, that will be 0, 0.9. Okay, then I go on. If the bus is light, the probability that Claudia is light for school is 0, 0,8. So if the bus is light, Claudia is light, then it will be 0, 0.8. Remember again, this pair add up to 1. So 1 minus 0, 0.8, and that will be 0, 0.2. Okay, let's just continue with the next one. Okay. And then the last one, if the bus is not light, the probability that Claudia is light is 0 0.05. So the bus is not light, Claudia is 
zero five. And again, if you subtract this one, remember this add up to one. So one minus zero point zero five, and that's going to be zero point nine five. That's going to be. So there I completed the tree, and this was then this was then number A. Okay, let's look at number B. Uh, calculate the probability that the bus is late and Claudia is late for school. Now let's first mark it for you. So the bus is late and Claudia, it's this branch. So what do I do in the branches? I multiply. So if I'm going to write it, just write it here. Um, let's say green. So the probability is going to be bus late. and Claudia light. And that's going to be, it's this branch, so it's going to be 0, 0,1 times 0, 0,8. And my answer is going to be 0 0.08. That's my answer. Okay, let's look at the next one, number C. Calculate the probability that Claudia is late for school. Now be careful. Where is Claudia late? Now Claudia, let's let's just get that branches again. Okay, I think I'm going to take green. There is Claudia late. No, no, no. Let's just redo. Calculate the Claudia is late for school. Um, let's just redo that one. Claudia is going to be late there. And Claudia is going to be late there. Okay, so uh, if I actually going to, I can take yellow. So it was late, she's late there, and she's late there. But always go back to the origin. We multiply in the branches, but what do we do with the results? We add it up. So basically, if we're going to say, let's just get our pen correct again, the probability and what is the question? Uh, calculate that. Um, calculate that Claudia is like Claudia. And that this is going to be now. And it's actually going to be that first one. So it's going to be that this one. You can actually just take that answer. But uh, just for the record, I'm going to multiply it again. But it's this original one, the one we were working with in B. And we add then this one. Can you see this yellow one? So it's 0, 0,9 multiply 0 0.05. And if we, I just want to, sorry, let me just, uh, this, oh, it's going to be so big. Okay. Let's just get the pen again. It's just that plus was not nice. Okay. And if we do that, we will get an answer of 0, 0,125. That will be our final answer. Okay, and then the last one. Let's just do the last one. Number D. The school term lasts 56 days. On how many days would Claudia expect to be late? Now this is where we use the probability, just like we did in single events. So um, we can go say, uh, we're going to days, it's, it's now not a probability, we're using the probability. Okay, let's just do, do that one. We're going to say Claudia days, that Claudia will be late and it's where we use the probability so it's going to be 0, 0,125 and we're just going to multiply it with that 56 and that will give us an answer of, you can just press it on the calculator, 7 days. She will be late for school. 